Quantum computing stocks are plummeting on Wednesday, and there's one person to blame. That is NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong. He said that the quantum computing revolution or any real use cases and value that's going to be generating is likely 15 to 30 years away. So why are these stocks down so much on just simply one comment that likely was obvious for those of us who follow the industry? Quantum computing does not have any real use cases today. A lot of this speculation and bounce in bouncing stocks was generated when Alphabet introduced their Willow chip. That's not a chip that's in production today. It's likely many, many years away from having a lot of real use cases. Now, that doesn't mean that it isn't going to be a revolution in the future, but it does mean that a lot of these valuations maybe have gotten ahead of themselves. So I'm going to go through the four stocks that have been impacted the most by this quantum computing news today. They're all down about 40% as I'm recording on Wednesday. Now, the strange thing is a lot of them are also up just over the past few weeks, even after that drop. What's ahead for these stocks? I'm going to answer that. My name's Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. First of all, let's look at some of the price movement today. And this is just the ch chart that shows the last month in these four popular quantum computing stocks, Ionic, Quantum Computing, D-Wave Quantum, and Rigetti Computing. These are the four stocks that have been on an absolute tear over the past few months. I'm gonna just show the six month chart here. This is crazy. The worst performer out of these, even after the 40% drop today, is Ionic with a 260% gain. Quantum Computing up 1500% over that period of time. So a lot of gains made for a lot of these stocks. But do the fundamentals or what these businesses are actually doing back up the returns that we've seen in the stock market. And that's where things really start to fall apart for these companies. So I'm going to go through them one by one in order. I'm going to start with Ionic. And this chart, I'll use the same information for each of these companies. But this chart shows the total revenue in gray, net income in blue, free cash flow in orange, and price to sales multiple. That's going to be really the key thing is the purple line here. So you can see the company does have a business. There is $37 million worth of revenue. The problem is for each dollar of revenue, there's about $3 in negative free cash flow. And that's going to be something that we're going to see across the board here. This is not a business yet that has reached any sort of scale or has return on investment for companies that are even testing these chips. It's really just a testing phase business. Quantum compute. That's where quantum computing is today. Not anything like what we see with NVIDIA in the data center. Doesn't mean that it isn't going to get there in 5, 10, 15, 20 years. But today, that's not what we see as a business. So the problem for all of these companies is eventually a stock's price and the market valuation of that company is going to reflect the fundamentals of the business. When you go from a price to sales multiple of around 50 in October to a price to sales multiple of about 300 that is a lot of speculation that is built in the stock. If that speculation isn't backed up by fundamental improvements in the performance of the business, eventually that can pull back. And that's exactly what we've seen today. And it, all it took was a comment from Jensen Wong saying, you know what? Quantum computing is not going to be here anytime soon. Now, the reason Jensen Wong is so influential here is because NVIDIA is one of the companies investing in quantum computing. But this is from a conversation that he had, a fireside chat that he had with Wall Street analysts. This is at CES. And he said, if you kind of said 15 years for very useful quantum computers, that's probably on the early side. So 15 years, 2040. If you said 30, probably on the late side. But if you pick 20, I think a whole bunch of us would believe it. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. If Jensen Wong is skeptical, maybe we should all be skeptical. And that's what's moving the market today. But let's go keep going through these companies. Quantum Computing, another one that had a huge move. But you can see here, they basically don't have much of a business. 400000 in revenue over the past year. These are all trailing 12-month numbers that I'm showing. Negative $20.5 million worth of cash flow. That price to sales multiple, 5842 Here's a company with a $2.3 billion market cap even after the drop in the stock today. We see something similar from D-Wave Quantum, $9.4 million in revenue. So there is revenue coming into the business, but negative $61 million in free cash flow and that price to sales multiple, 227. This is becoming a broken record because all four companies look essentially the same. Rigetti Computing, 
11.9 million dollars in revenue but negative 65.9 million dollars in free cash flow price to sales multiple of 433. is it possible that all these companies grow into multi-billion dollar businesses 10 15 20 years from now it is absolutely possible but right now the run in the stock over the past couple of months has been driven by speculation that quantum computing was going to be something that has it hasn't proven to be and we don't know who the winners are going to be now as an asymmetric investor i want stocks that are going to go up 10x 100x in value but investing on speculation and hoping that a speculative company is going to play out well has proven over time to be extremely risky for investors. It's actually a better strategy to have a diversified portfolio of companies that have high potential and solid operating performance. The price that we pay for these stocks is extremely important. If you were buying shares of any of these quantum computing stocks a week ago on the idea that this was gonna be a huge business in 10 to 20 years, that means that you've lost 40% of that value. And I think the decline in these stocks is going to continue. That doesn't mean that these companies aren't going to be potential buying opportunities if they go much, much lower in value, if they prove out some sort of technology or use case that ends up being a growing business. But having real fundamentals, real return on what you're investing in and what you're developing is key for all of these companies. Otherwise, what's going to happen is they're going to continue to burn through cash. The way that they're going to fund their operations in the future is they're going to sell stock. So they're going to dilute current shareholders and they're going to do that until they get to free cash flow positive. Typically companies that are using that strategy, using public shareholders to fund the research that it takes to become a real business that doesn't typically end up well for investors. We saw this, we saw this during the pandemic. You had huge rises in companies like plug power, blink charging, charge point, add Rivian into that bloom energy, Lots of companies that soared to extremely high valuations despite having negative free cash flow. When the speculative bubble popped, all of their stocks dropped. So that's what I think we're seeing here. And it's probably just the start of the decline for a lot of these quantum computing stocks, but because we're years, if not decades away from these being sustainable businesses, which is exactly what I wanna see in stocks that have a chance to 10X or more in value over the next 10 years. But let me know what you think of the state of quantum computing today. I certainly have a big position in one quantum computing leader that is alphabet but you get a very diverse and very profitable business along with that i think that's a much better investing strategy today and that's what i'm implementing because that's upside you don't have to pay for like you do with these quantum computing stocks but leave your comments in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to asymmetric investing thanks for watching everybody see you here next time